Welcome back. In this session, we'll explore practical exercises to deepen your understanding of connecting to Microsoft Graph, retrieving data, and managing permissions using PowerShell. In this session, we will perform six hands-on lab in the form of exercises. Let's look into these exercises prior to implementation. Exercise 1 – Connecting to Microsoft Graph Now that we've set the stage, let's dive into our first exercise. The objective is to understand how to establish a connection to Microsoft Graph using PowerShell. Execute the Connect Graph command with the appropriate parameters and let's verify the connection status. Next in Exercise 2 – Retrieving User Information Great job connecting! Now, let's shift our focus to retrieving valuable information. In this exercise, the objective is to learn how to retrieve user information from Microsoft Graph using PowerShell. We will execute the getMGUser command, observe user details, and experiment with different parameters. Next, we will do exercise 3, searching for delegated permissions. Having explored user data, it's time to understand permissions. In exercise 3, we'll use the find ng graph permission command to search for delegated permissions related to sites. Here we will understand the permissions landscape and identify delegated access points. Next we will perform exercise 4, granting additional permissions. Building on our understanding of permissions, let's explore granting additional access. In exercise 4, we will learn about connect graph command with specified scopes. This will grant additional permissions to our Microsoft Graph connection. Once we will the additional permission, we will let these permissions. Next, we have Exercise 5, Token Management. Now that we've expanded our permissions, let's delve into token management. Exercise 5 focuses on understanding token persistence and how to disconnect and forget access tokens. Experiment with different scenarios to observe token persistence and then use the Disconnect Graph command. Next, we have Exercise 6, Documentation and Help Commands. As we progress, let's take a moment to explore the documentation side. In Exercise 6, we'll learn how to access detailed documentation using the Get Help command. Execute Get Help Find MG Graph Permission online and explore the documentation for options and examples. Now let's jump into Visual Studio Code to perform all these exercises. So friends, we are in Visual Studio Code. Let's create a PS1 file called 3 Connecting, Retrieving, and Managing with PowerShell.ps1. Exercise 1. Understand how to establish a connection to Microsoft Graph using PowerShell. Connect to Graph. We will be connecting using previously consented permissions. This will be achieved through command let. Connect Graph. Exercise 2. Learn how to retrieve user information from Microsoft Graph using PowerShell. This will be achieved through command let. Get MG user. Exercise 3. Search for delegated permissions related to SharePoint sites. This will be achieved through command let. Find MG Graph permission sites permission type delegated. Exercise 4. Learn how to grant additional permissions to the Microsoft Graph connection. For this example, we will be using Connect Graph Scopes. We are adding 9 more scopes which related to User Read, User Read Write All, Mail Read Write, Directory Read All, Chat Read Write, People Read, Group Read All, Tasks Read Write, Sites Manage All. Exercise 5. Understand token persistence and how to disconnect and forget access tokens. This will be achieved through command let. Disconnect graph. Exercise 6. Learn how to access detailed documentation using the get help command. This will be achieved through command let. Get help find MG graph permission online. Make sure you are keeping this command handy as you are going to use this command quite frequently. Now we have completed the exercises, it's time to execute it. So let's execute it. We execute the exercise one first. To do that, we will select line number four and right click and select run selection. 
The moment you will do that it will take you to browser and ask for consent you need to select the checkbox and click consent. Once you do that then you will go back and check the PowerShell terminal you will find that it is showing welcome to Microsoft Graph. Now we will execute exercise 2. To execute right click and select run selection. You will notice that we got 403 error as it looked like we don't have right permission. So to get right permission we will execute exercise 4 first before exercise 3 and then again we will execute exercise 2 to validate our concept. So let's select line 14 through 17 and right click and select run selection. This will open browser and it will ask for login select or provide your credential. You will notice that all 9 permission which we were adding the additional permission it is asking for consent. Here you will see user read write permission as well. Let's give consent but before that let's look into what user read permission. So click on this drop down. Now let click on checkbox and click on accept. Once done close the browser and go back to Visual Studio Code and you will notice the terminal that has given us the log for additional permission. Now let's rerun line number 7 get ng user you will notice that it is returning all the users. So guys we have executed both exercise 2 and exercise 4. You understood 403 error as well. When you don't have permission then you will get 403 error. You also understood how to resolve this issue. This will be resolved by giving appropriate permission. Now let's proceed further. Now let's execute exercise 3. Select line number 11 right click and select run selection. You will notice that the terminal has given the output with permission details about SharePoint site. So for this case we have 4 types of permissions. Sites full control all, sites manage all, sites read all and last site read write all. This is quite handy to check permission details by executing a single line of command instead of navigating through Azure portal. Now let's proceed further and execute the exercise 5 as we have already executed the exercise 4 while executing the exercise 2. To execute exercise 5 go to line number 21 and select it. Once selection done right click select run selection. You will notice the terminal the connection get disconnected with the details about the existing connection. This exercise is quite straightforward. Now let's proceed further and execute last exercise that is exercise 6. To execute exercise 6 go to line number 24 and select it. Once selection done right click select run selection. It will open the documentation for executed help command for our case we have execute get help command for find ng graph permission command. Here you will notice that it is given all the information for the same. As the left side navigation you will other commands information. You will bookmark this page as I am sure you are going to visit this page quite frequently. So friends, this is what I wanted to discuss with you in this session. On this note I am stopping over here. See you in the next session.